Today's horoscope from Astro Academy, Virgo, January 8, 2024. We sent a, a sent re moving right along into 2024 already. In 2024, we will watch as the lunar nodes are moving through the polarity axis. This ensures the human collective will be experiencing karmic shifts and twists of fate around the themes of war versus peace, independence versus union, and me versus we. No matter one's zodiac sign, this energy will certainly be activated and forced in front of us to face. If you have already started to experience some of that, note that you will still have to go forward. Above all, though, choose a life and path that ultimately fulfills you. It will be lucrative. The potential financial and professional value of a creative venture might be up in the air when the sun in Capricorn squares Chiron in Aries. The square could address your inner stress and fear that your passion project will not work out. You might be secretly nervous that you will not make any money or advance in your career path after completing your creative venture. Although it might be challenging to tell where your passion project may lead right now, you should have a little more faith in the value of your passion project. The weekend gives you the perfect chance to start unpacking a download of information, insights, and messages after the moon wrapped up its first visit to your income sector for the year yesterday. Before the new working week begins and with major new developments on the job front in 14 days, this is a chance to start developing a lucrative sense of direction. You have a knack for getting along well with others, and it's time to turn your focus onto yourself and pay attention to what you want and need. This isn't easy for you, and you will be glad to hear that the planetary transit is aiding those on difficult paths creating a structure within which you can take care of your health needs is the best way to go, this way, you will not have to think about it. Plan ahead including meals, exercise, rest and entertainment. One of the most efficient members of the zodiacs are organized, driven, and meticulous in their work. They are very detail-oriented, making them master editors with extremely high standards. However, they need to be mindful that they are not overly demanding or critical of themselves or those around them. This day is made just for you. Just sit back and enjoy the sense of the well-being you gain by being surrounded by your loved ones. Share the adventures of your childhood with those who are present. Any children in the group will enjoy hearing about the experiences that you gain knowledge from. Storytelling like this is an excellent way to pass the family traditions and heritage on to the next generation. Enjoy this eye to the fullest. Seven days after Venus, the planet of love left your communication sector and ended both her mission to give your heart and your relationships a voice and all planetary activity on the communication front, the moon returns with a chance to pick up from where she left off. A friendly aspect to Saturn in your relationship sector is going to get this off to a positive start, with another with Neptune there before leaving in two days. This is a chance to revisit what Venus began but with a chance for a fresh start. It is as Mars is spending his first full day in your romantic sector that the moon not only returns for its first visit to your communication sector for the year but moves straight into a friendly aspect to Saturn on the relationship front. Just in time for the weekend the love, communication and relationship gods are out in full force and will be for the next few days. Our eyes in the sky. Passive energy takes center stage as the Sun in Capricorn forms a sextile with the Moon in Scorpio. On this day, you may discover a heightened sense of kindness towards your fellow individuals. It presents an opportune moment to extend a helping hand and seek assistance from others. However, later in the day, the Moon opposes Uranus in Taurus, potentially leading to mood swings and dramatic emotional states. It is advisable to refrain from making significant decisions, as outcomes may not align with your expectations. In your interactions, harmonize your desires with the needs of others, creating a mutually enjoyable experience. Your accommodating demeanor excels in putting friends or partners at ease, especially when they are under stress. Be cautious, though, about providing physical assistance, as unforeseen consequences may arise. Recognizing the unpredictability of the future, 
Cultivate flexibility, especially in financial matters. Avoid hasty investments or acquisitions, and remain skeptical of advice received, taking time to assess its validity. While you may feel a sense of empowerment, resist the urge to indulge in impulsive spending. Maintaining a comprehensive overview of your finances is crucial. Evaluate the necessity of purchases carefully, questioning whether they are truly essential. Your energy levels are high, enabling you to address important matters with clear thinking. Successfully concluding situations, both professionally and personally, becomes feasible. This newfound clarity allows you to confront previously avoided difficulties, receiving positive responses to your adept handling of various situations. As the moon prepares to leave your financial sector, concluding its visit for the year, and since Venus, the planet of money, departed, it forms a friendly aspect with dreamy Neptune in an intuitive part of your chart. Venus had previously engaged in a similar celestial dance during her final days, offering you another opportunity to boost your financial confidence, tap into your instincts, and fuel your imagination. This alignment encourages a renewed sense of assurance in your financial decisions and intuitive insights. As the friendly alignment between Mercury in your financial sector and the dwarf planet Eris in an intuitive and imaginative part of your chart reaches its peak, the moon makes its return. This marks the moon's initial visit for the year, the final one before Mercury departs, and the sole visit while Venus, the planet of money, resides here. This lunar influence not only sharpens your financial instincts but also contributes to a burgeoning sense of financial confidence. The timing is significant, occurring just before the moon leaves your income sector, concluding its first visit for the year and since Venus bid farewell. During its last hours in this sector, the moon forms a harmonious aspect with dreamy Neptune in your work sector Euro, a celestial alignment reminiscent of Venus's final days. This creates a positive atmosphere for both income and job-related matters, offering an opportunity to revisit optimistic aspirations from the previous year. Approaching your dealings with others in a pleasant, composed, and generous manner, exercise caution when striving to be fair-minded to avoid conceding too much ground that may lead to later regrets. Your diplomatic approach ultimately prevails, earning you appreciation and respect from others who reciprocate your generosity. While you may experience attraction to someone, regardless of their availability, it's advisable to steer clear of dwelling on such scenarios to avoid potential trouble. Depending on your character, you either have your thoughts under control or manage them to the best of your ability. With the Sun and Pluto nearing your income sector within two weeks, it's time to reassess your expectations for the coming year, not only in terms of income but also in your professional endeavors. Previous experiences and expectations across the income, work, and career fronts won't mirror this year's reality. Embrace the need to raise your expectations, even if the specifics are unclear, and employ a degree of blind faith. As you introduce physical activities into your routine, your positive feelings soar, building on your core strength and achieving a balanced rhythm. Others recognize your vitality, relying on your strength in high-pressure situations.